<laughs> Connect to your breath. And there's a wonderful Sufi exercise. And the Sufi really knew it because they are the Muslim mystics. <laughs> As you are inhaling, you're drawing in, you're drawing in all of source into you, all of it. You're drawing source in, and as you exhale, you're dropping deeper and deeper into your sacred heart, which is one with everything that is. Ramana Maharshi teaches us that there are different points of attention where we can concentrate in order to drop the mind, in order to know our true nature. And just know that that is your only task here on earth to flow in love as Mother, Father, God. And the more everything is being stripped from you, the closer you get to the purity of wisdom, of love, and the will of one. This planet is a direct training to align with the will of one. It is a direct training. And whenever you are veering off from the law of one, which is pure love, wisdom, will, you suffer. <laughs> it's that simple. So Ramana teaches us that whenever you concentrate on the heart, you return to the source of your being. Because that transcendental seed atom in your heart, in your higher heart, is one with everything. So I call to connect to my higher self. We all can do that. I am presence. We connect to Mother, Father, God. And there's no separation. It is just elevating incrementally our frequency until everything is dropped into the effulgence of love. Allowing every exhalation to be a deepening into this immediate dissolution into source. I ask Mother, Father, God to oversee and overlight this meditation and co-creation, healing.
we're creating a pillar from our hearts. We're creating a group pillar and individual pillars. And I'm going to extend this pillar to where you live. And the pillars are affecting the areas where we are taking place. Many, many, many kilometers in radius. Allowing this purity, this harmonization, this healing to anchor through our hearts, through our being. So this heart conduit, know that you are the center of being. Just feel that you are the center of being because the being is one. You are the center. As you're shooting down your liquid plasma, golden white light from your heart down your chakras into the center of this planet. Adjusting to the crystalline grid of Tara, which is the ascended earth. Adjusting our Kundalini force to Mother Earth is beautiful Kundalini force. And you're automatically reminded that you're being fed. You're being fed by this Shakti. The manifest Pradhana, universal multiversal source love just feel how your root chakra is being fed being released and there's this golden crystalline electric light coming up your spine transcending all of the contractions that we have been engaging in, all of it, come together, intend to know your true nature, just intend. <laughs> Also letting go of wanting, clinging. And this is the Shakti path. Moving into the root. And there's this playful Shakti energy, which is you, the mother force whether you're a male or female, play with it. You're sitting and there's this dimension inside you, in your root. And we're moving this God light, the Kundalini God light, in your root. Clearing the tailbone, clearing all the congestions, all of our rigid clinging to this realm. Just sit here, feel your entire body and just feel your tailbone. This is the place where
the field of the root chakra is taking place. And we start opening up this field. If you're lying down or sitting, you're opening up the root chakra. It's beautiful if you're on earth, directly sitting on the earth. Just feel the pulsation of Shakti, which is one with the creation, the creational pulsation. Correcting, correcting all of the inverted architecture within our morphogenetic field. And at the same time, this beautiful ball of light is spreading at the root. Let go. Breathe. And every time as you're breathing, you're falling into the trust. As you're becoming one with the pulsation of the mother, of creation, know that the father element does not move. The father element does not create. It is the backdrop from which all is created. And it's miraculously in its non-moving. It's making love to the dynamic element, the Shakti. The Shakti is sent out to play, to create in love, create in love. Just feel how the root, as it's slowly, it took a while, it's starting to release its frozenness. And slowly it is this beautiful golden crystalline white and electric light is seeping into your bone marrow, seeping into your spine. All of the stem cells subatomic particles Breathe. The breathing helps you know that you are breathed by Mother, Father, God. The breathing is your automatic knowing that you can let go of separation. This process is creating 
a stronger pranic channel all the way to source. Everything is actually happening at the same time. Your seed atom in your higher heart is being harmonized by Mother Earth's heart. You're getting accustomed to this pulsation of joy, of creation. It is, do not misunderstand, that Kundalini is a sexual act. Moment to moment, an impregnation of love. Just feel how your cells are being impregnated with this highest love affair. All the cells. And the heart is harmonizing. With the pulsation of the central sun. Great central sun. harmonizing with Andromeda, Lyra, the pre-matter fields, Mother, Father, God. Feel that you are center of creation. And there's no circumference. Because the play is the creation through individuation, through these multitudes of centers, the centers also being one. Pulsating out. through the Mahatattva, the Mana, Mahat, which is the mind of God. Pulsating out. Reinscribing. this love affair 
as we harmonize with our home frequency, reinscribing the love affair through each breath. as we create as creators through the highest love, highest discernment, highest grace, Now we start dissolving through the luminescence, the effulgent light, the liquid plasma, crystalline Christ all line. Blessing. as we pierce through all of the portals. There are no membranes obstructing the flow of you being one with Mother, Father, God. We're slowly dissolving all of the limitations of the root chakra. All of it. Just feel how you started feeling more and more at ease. You're still dealing with the root chakra. But at the same time, there is no separation. We're just reaching into different existential planes. We can reach down, we can reach up, but at the end, it is just a play. And we're allowing to feel the pulsation of source in our root. We're downloading now, infusing into every cell of our body, also the morphogenetic field trust. 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 That is the deepest separation. Losing trust. Losing trust of who you truly are. Because you started believing that you are the contraction. <laughs> and you know the contraction does have fear, which is the personality. It's afraid to lose love. It's afraid to love. <laughs> it's afraid to dissolve. So we're just loving all of it. We're loving the fear. We're still in the root. 
We're loving the contraction. We're loving the human. We're loving the flesh. And as the root chakra is expanding, you're feeling every single cell, every single muscle, sinew in your body relax. And as you exhale, you drop into the love affair hmm. this intimacy is all that is Dissolving fear, dissolving mistrust, dissolving all of these misunderstood causes of separation. It caused separation. And the root now starts becoming a vortex, spreading, starting like a whirlwind. And it's moving upwards, blessing all of the planes of existence. Start playing. Start allowing yourself to dissolve. The contraction. And the whirlwind is moving up into your sacral center. Into your belly, but at the same time, there's the place more specifically where your sacral is connected to your spine, but then there's a larger etheric field of your sacral chakra. And we're allowing the root to just expand and we're expanding the second chakra, the sacral. Just feel it in your belly, feel it in your womb and horror space. Allowing your life force to be harmonized to your highest home frequency. It's a very deep healing. I'm calling in all the rays 
through the ascension flame, all the rays, meaning all the qualities of the multiversal source creation. It's the rainbow, white, crystalline, golden fire. Piercing through source, the inception, through the gate, all the way to Mother Earth from your crown, moving down into Mother Earth. And it's releasing all of the cellular imprinting from all lifetimes, timelines, spaces, The misuse of sexual energy, the shame, the guilt, mm. all of the oppression, repression, timidness, everything that keeps your feel contracted. And as we allow this ascension flame to open us up, open us up to the intimacy of this love making moment to moment, this is the only play that we need to embrace as creators. as we melt into the love that we are. Opening the sacred vortex of the womb Opening the sacred vortex of the Hara. Aligning it to the highest love frequencies. If they were disconnected from the heart. Back. Hmm. Aligning it back. Just feel, feel in the cellular memory that we are dissolving all the inversions, all the misunderstanding, all the unconsciousness. And this is also a seed of reverse aging. At the center of your womb and Hara, life force center.
And we are moving up into the solar plexus. This is your, the seat of the ego. And just consider that your ego is just a conglomeration of all the energies that you have gathered since birth through emotions and thoughts so that you created this sense of your small self, okay? Which is necessary. And now we are moving into the solar plexus. It's located just beyond the belly button. And we're also addressing this point through the belly button. And we're starting to open up the space of the solar plexus. Aligning it to your highest home frequency. Allowing just this feeling that everything is exactly the way it needs to be. Just think just feel it for a second. Your process, your life. It's exactly the way it's meant to be. Allowing this center to open up and receive the ascension flame, which is the pulsation of love. As our ego selves, you can imagine them as a pea-like force. And this pea-like force starts opening up, opening up, and opening up. And its circumference is touching that of infinity because then it loses its circumference. It loses its boundaries. It loses everything. That it once defined you. Beautiful. And we whirl up into the heart, which is encompassing all the other centers. allowing you to drop into the heart on the right. Mm. 
the heart on the right. And there's this sacred vortex. Here. The seat of yourself, that self. Through which you are always allowing the imminent love of being to pulsate through you Breathe and fall, let go. Into this space, the heart on the right. And the heart on the right. Is this dimensional gateway. as it's tracing its path from the heart on the right up through your higher heart through your throat through the back side of the head, the Alta Major Chakra. Through the third eye. Out through the crown. through your causal body. I'm asking for all the corrections to be now done in order to clear this channel of bliss. So it is. So these little whirling, miraculous, vortices are being induced in your hologram through the heart on the right higher heart throw alta major chuck third eye pause here for a second Clearing all of the memory imprinting. That is inverting our highest access to Mother, Father, God. 
just allow this beautiful light to cleanse the third eye. Cleanse the Alta Major Chakra. Cleanse the higher heart. And the more you let go through the exhale, you're allowing this immensity, the effulgence, to open up. all the domains of your multi-dimensional being. To the highest love. Know yourself. Know thyself. Is your letting go your Releasing the clutching, unclutching, as you're spiraling out through the crown, your causal body. Remembering all of your psychic abilities, all of your multidimensional sensual abilities. You have more than 360 some senses, all of them coming online. Moving into the soul star. Stellar gateway. piercing through the dimensional sun gateways, Andromeda and Lyra, and all the way to Source. So this is still presenting you with a spatial expansion. And bear with me. Drop back into the heart on the right. This vortex gateway. Allowing you to accustom yourself to pulsation of creation. Just feel, it's almost like the closest I can explain it to you is this, the pulsing, the cursing of your blood, the heart, but then your physical heart. And that heart which is so excited because it's in love. It's in love. And every beat, a 
every breath is bringing forth this love. It's like a pumping force. It's God's Mother, Father, God's heart is being disseminated. Moment to moment through you into being. Is there a place? Hmm. Is there a time? Collapsing back into this openness. It is all so very simple. Recognize Your body is just a mechanism. That allows God's love affair to be conveyed into the world. And as you know, on a cellular level, on a being level, so you are this love in becoming eternal loving consciousness This field right now, moment to moment, is dissolving. All the lower thought patterns, which are the lower energies which are the lower emotions, which are also memory imprinting, which are the samskara, which are the vasana,
Pasanas are just samskaras, impressions that have been repeated. Allow them to melt. Allow your heart to be fully consumed. Nothing to hold on to. Melting all the separation. Melting all the disbelief. Melting all the illusion of space-time. Thus, Melting the illusion of the world out there. And we are returning to this space of even unmanifest mother force. It is the latent mother force that had not started creating yet. It's one with the father force and they're eternally one in the love. as the one reality, as the one blessing, as the one teaching. This is your energetic sovereignty, knowing thyself. Allowing all aspects of the morphogenetic field to be corrected, realigned. Collapsing all timelines into one the highest timeline, Mother, Father, God, Wisdom, Love, Will of One. Realigning our cellular memory to that highest will. As the Amrita Nadi or channel of bliss is cursing through these higher domains, they don't mean it doesn't mean they're better, lower, higher. <laughs> they're just 
starting from the heart on the right. We brought the first three chakras up into the heart and then the heart is now cursing through all of these domains and reestablishes this one pulsation, this imminent, never-ending pulsation with source. And just feel this vortex at the right side of your heart. It's spreading. And as you've noticed, we were creating the vertical plane. It's proverbial, obviously. But now the pulsation of your heart on the right is creating a proverbial horizontal plane that is creating the world, the so-called world, moment by moment through this purity, through this oneness, through this love, light wisdom of your seed atom. You are your own guru, your own teacher, your own flame. The fire of creation. Your body is a magnificent, magnificent technology that allows you to function multidimensionally and beyond all dimensions. As you're collapsing and melting, all of your misunderstanding. May all beings realize their true being, oneness with the self, with source. As you're pulsating this knowing out into the horizontal field, we are rewriting And now, moment by moment, we're healing the earth and we're loving everyone back to unity. We are here as conduits of change. Lighthouses that allow every single soul to 
reconnect to their knowing. So it is. So it is. So it is. I ask, dear Mother, Father, God, to seal this transmission in all the four corners, all the realms. And I ask for protection for this group field and individual group fields. And I ask that all the integration process refinement, transgression, be the smoothest and most loving throughout this body and throughout all the fields that this body is connected, all the bodies are connected. And allowing yourself to drop here, back here, back into the limitless space of yourself. There's no circumference. There's just being loving awareness and the process is to align with the highest will the will of one which is one with love and wisdom they're not separate is a magnificent practice to just drop here heart on the right just drop and open It, this is your intelligence. And I thank Mother, Father, God, and I thank this co-creation. Thank all the guides. Thank Babaji, Ramana for this teaching and embodiment. As we're dissolving all traces of separation, all traces of fear, mistrust, aging, sickness, all of it is now transmuted into the highest will of love, light, wisdom. So it is.